Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you a Primark haul and I feel like I haven't done one of these on my channel in quite a while. I've been trying to kind of like strip back the spending because we've been working on our garden so hard and all things like that and I feel like minus the home bargains haul that I posted the other day, I haven't done a lot of hauls over here recently. So I thought I'd run around and pick up all the bits that I wanna share with you for the Primark haul. I've gotten them out and kind of spread them over my home a little bit. But I have both of the receipts from my latest two purchases that were done within a few weeks of each other and I just thought I'd put them all together in a big haul for you. So I'm gonna share that with you today. So if you wanna see what I picked up in Primark, then just keep watching. Okay, so I picked up some bits for myself, for the boys, and the boys bits I've kind of already let them use and things like that, so they're not gonna be included in today's haul, but I'm gonna share with you some bits that I picked up, and they mainly are like some t-shirts and stuff for the summer, and then quite a few beauty accessories and shoes and bits and bobs like that. So to start with, I'm gonna share with you this t-shirt. You can't really see it too well on camera, and it actually looks pretty see-through. Um, but it's like a grey and white striped t-shirt. I really like wearing this, it's really cool for the summer and I noticed when I went in store the other day when I did like my second haul that they actually had a lot more of these in in different colours and I should have picked up some more but I didn't but they had like a gorgeous nude shade and just like some plainer colours. Now this was really really affordable, I'm trying to find it on my receipt and I can't find it but I'm pretty sure it was around four or five pounds and um, might have been even three pounds, it wasn't very expensive at all and I thought this is perfect for like a basic school run t-shirt and things like that. Then I also picked up a couple more tops. Now this has got to be one of my favourites at the moment. So it's this one here, it's in this gorgeous greeny khaki colour. I picked it up in a size 14 and it's got this checked on it, it's got this gorgeous pocket on it and it's kind of like a really nice slouch fit. I really like the way that this one looks on me, it kind of is really nice and thin and loose so again perfect for the summer and I love wearing this with like a pair of flip flops and some jeans so that one works really nicely and that one was £10 so again not that expensive at all, I think that's really reasonable and again they had these in lots of different colours so I probably should have picked up some more but yeah I might go back. I picked this one up in a size 14 and it's really oversized, I probably could have got away with a size 12 but yeah I really like the way that looks. And then I also picked up another t-shirt and again it's in this gorgeous khaki colour and I really like this one, it says you got this which I really really like. Again it's just a really basic t-shirt which I find perfect for when I'm doing the school runs. Now. sweepers going by outside just wait for them to pass yeah so the next one that I picked up was this one it's in this gorgeous khaki color again just a really basic tee now it looks really big and that's because it is it's a really oversized t-shirt I actually tried on the large in this and the large was massive and um, so I picked up the medium which is rated like a 12 to 14 and but it was four pounds and I thought four pounds for a basic t-shirt again you can't go wrong with that and it says you've got this on it I don't know if I said that already but yeah again another basic t-shirt and I love Primark for their basic tees and they've really up their game recently with how they all look so I love that so next up I picked up this gorgeous straw bag now Primark had so many different types of straw bag straw bags straw bags and I love the look of this one I thought this was really really nice as it was quite structured and I also loved the color of this I love the style of the handle and everything like that I love the straw effect to it and I think this is gonna be perfect for like the beach or in the summer or I feel like it'd be great for on holiday and all things like that I also love the fact that it had this strap so if I wanted to I could wear it like crossbody or over my shoulder which if I'm on holiday and I've got the boys is perfect and I also love the fact that inside it's got like a zip fit so I can completely zip this up which is like one of the things that I don't necessarily like about straw bags I feel like my items can get a little bit lost and they can kind of roll around everywhere and then I feel like they're quite easy to fall out but that can zip completely up like that and I feel like there's a lot more security with it so I really like the idea of this and like I said they had some that weren't as structured that were a little bit more kind of like flexible and loose and all things like that it's also got like a little pocket in there as well which I really liked and I was so surprised when I saw the price tag on this because this was just £12. Now I've seen a lot of these like over eBay and Amazon and stuff like that but I thought £12 for a bag from Primark, you can't really go wrong. And I really can't wait to style this up with some really lovely outfits in the summer. 
so my next item is really random and I've already started using it but it is this now I thought this is really cute and would look really really lovely in my bathroom cupboard and it's literally a cotton bud holder it was £1.50 the lid pops off like this and I've actually left the tape on this side so it kind of stays on nicely to be honest with you I've actually left everything on it I need to undo all the little like the packaging but I can literally pop all my cotton buds in here and they're nice and organized instead of them being in like the horrible pots they come in so it's really really simple but something I think will make a nice difference in my bathroom so next up I'm sharing some pajamas with you and they had so many gorgeous pairs of pajamas now in the summer I really like the satiny type pajamas because I feel like the satiny silk type ones keep me really cool they're really nice to wear around the house and oh my gosh I could have picked up like three or four pairs when I went in there however I picked up these ones and again these were really big so I picked these up in a size 12 to 14 which is their medium size and these just about fit me I tried on the large because I generally like my like, pajamas really oversized but they were just massive and they wouldn't even like the waistband wouldn't stay up but they are these ones look how gorgeous this floral print is it's in this gorgeous blush pink tone here and then it's got this gorgeous like bluey purple pastel shade on it as well which I think is absolutely stunning and I just loved how they looked and then this is the matching like cami top and they also had like a blue and white striped one which I loved and I think I'm going to go back and pick up some more um, but this is the top here so I love like it just has like the little lace detailing and I just think it's a really nice set to wear to bed I mean gone long gone are the days where I wear really provocative pajamas to bed having kids nowadays but I just thought they were really lovely and I'm pretty sure they were like £4.50 for each bit let's have a look yeah £4.50 for the top and £4.50 for the bottom so £9 I don't think is too bad and I wear this sort of stuff all year round because I'm one of these people that just gets really hot in bed but the blue and white striped one I definitely think I'm going to have to go back for and they had like another floral print one so definitely check out the pyjama section in Primark at the moment so next up is shoes now I actually had a pair of like Chanel-esque espadrilles to show you for anyone that doesn't know what I mean they're like black and creamy nude type coloured um, espadrilles and I absolutely loved them and I thought these are an amazing dupe for the Chanel for the Chanel espadrilles however I got them home I tried them on I tried walking in them and they were literally flipping off of my feet and it wasn't because they were too big because they fit me perfectly like any bigger they would have gone flying and any smaller I wouldn't have been able to get my feet into them but they just wouldn't stay on my feet so let me know if any of you guys have seen them and whether they work for you but I just couldn't fathom why they weren't staying on but I went in there and I wanted a pair of these like sandals and I really like the look of these ones so these are little black sandals I tried them on they fit amazingly I thought they were wide fit for some reason but I don't think they are they were four pounds so really really cheap and a lot of the time I struggle with Primark sandals because of like the width and stuff like that but these ones are really lovely they also have this gorgeous faux detailing on the front which I thought was really really lovely and again they had these in a few different colours so I may go back and pick up some more but I think for four pounds for a pair of um, sandals you can't really go wrong again I'm just like always running around with the boys and stuff like that so I thought they were really lovely and now I'm on to some accessories. The next thing I picked up are these, and I've already opened them and worn some of them, but I am obsessed. They are these scrunchies, and I love these. They're very, like, retro style. They've got, like, I call them, like, bunny ears, but they remind me of, like, the 70s or 80s. I'm not quite sure what era they are. But, you know, when you have, like, these scrunchies and they've got those bits on the front. Now, I was looking at loads of these on Amazon, but there was a lot of colours that I didn't like in the packs. And although the packs are really, really cheap, when I saw these in Primark, I had to pick them up. So the first one that I've got is this gorgeous, you can't even really see it, but it's like a metallic -y pink shade. Oh, there we go, that's showing up better. So the first one is this gorgeous metallic -y pink shade. Ignore my finger, I've ripped the entire now off of my finger. It's horrific. Then the next one I picked up was this really cute black one, and I love this one. And then it wouldn't quite be me if I didn't get this gorgeous grey blue shade as well, which I absolutely love. Now the packaging for these, it was a three pack, they come together and it says they were £2 and it's their Spring Summer 19 collection. And I love these, I think these look so nice together, they're really comfortable to wear and when I've got them in my hair it's just like another little added accessory. I am your typical mum bun hair kind of gal and so it is nice to just be able to dress my hair up a little bit more and then I also picked up another bunch and I haven't opened these ones as of yet but these ones were just a pound for a three pack and I love these it was mainly this one that drew me in so I don't know how well you can see this but it's this gorgeous floral print creamy colour which I loved then they also have this plain grey which again standard I could have worn that today 
and they also have this gorgeous nude color as well and again for a pound you can't really go wrong i did also see a lot of the hair bands that go over my head but i picked up one a couple of months ago from river island and i'm just not quite sure whether they suit me or not i haven't quite braved wearing them yet I think you've kind of got to have a certain look about you and I'm not quite sure that I'm ready to embrace that look. So I'm unsure on that. But I also just wanted to quickly mention some of the other bits that I picked up. So I also picked up some bits for the boys. So I picked up a three pack of shorts for Clayton and I picked up two packs and they were five pounds each. They were really affordable, just your basics for like preschool or nursery or whatever you may need. I also picked up some plain pack of like trainer socks for like Adam. They were two pounds, so really affordable. And I also picked up these really pretty white laced trainer shoe socks as well for me. And I think they were like two pounds. Um, yeah, they were two pounds, so really, really cheap. I'm just trying to see what else I picked up. I also picked up a really cute grey cap for Parker for nursery and it said cool dude. And that was three pounds. Again, really, really affordable. And I also picked up the boys some little sliders and croc type shoes for out in the garden. And again, they were a couple of pound each as well. So they've got so much summer stuff in there at the moment. So if you need to grab anything, I would 100% recommend checking out Primark's range. And for me, I remember when Clayton was a newborn four years ago, going into Primark and the boys section was awful. However, they've really upped their game. I remember seeing so much in the little girl section, but never anything for the boys. But the boys section has come on massively recently and I'm finding that their tracksuits, I'm getting loads of their tracksuits from there now because their co-ord sets are amazing. So if you're looking for some pieces for your children, definitely head on down and check out Primark's range. Well guys, that's everything from my haul today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I picked up in Primark over the last few weeks. If you'd like me to do another one of these and maybe a try on as well, then let me know in the comments box below. Also let me know what you think about the hairband trend at the moment. Are you in or are you out? I'd love to know how many people are sporting that look at the moment. But I will see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye you guys. got me thinking, whoa, I don't know how we got here. Oh my, I think we better run. We ought to leave this place tonight. I'm telling you.